So welcome back to my explorations of From Foreign Lands and People by Robert Schumann from Kindertain and Opus 15. Previous two videos, I talked a little bit about the history and Robert and Clara Schumann's relationship. And then we've looked at the structure, um, something about melody and also the harmony. This week, we're going to get those ears working because it's such a beautiful melody and it appears in the uh, at the very beginning in the top part and then of course it becomes um, then in the middle section it goes into the bass line and he inverts it so trying to play things by ear work them out by ear before you look at the music sometimes is incredibly beneficial and helps you to have a deeper sense and dip more ownership of the music. So let's give it a go. If you're buying a piano, that's great. If not, stop the video, go and find a piano or something to play. See if you can work this out, especially if you're quite unfamiliar with the piece. So we're in the key of G major. <clears throat> that's the first thing I'll tell you. And we're going to look at the bass line in the middle. Okay, so if this is a G, you might think, okay, see if you can work out first of all, and I often do this with my students, can you work out what note it starts on? Here's G, and here's the starting note. And then just try humming it in your head, and then see if you can find it on the piano. So, it's an E, okay, that's an E. And here is the, are the two phrases I'm going to play to you. Um, have a listen first of all before you try and do anything else. One, two. Now hopefully your brain will have just automatically picked up the pattern. Because did you hear? It's just a little sequence. It's two bars and then it moves down and it's uh, then played again in the same shape, the same pattern. So here's the first phrase again, and I'll tell you for free, this is within, um, it's within five notes. It, it doesn't move any further than five notes away from that E. Have a listen. One, two. didn't quite go right. Here it is, my version again. One and a two. Have a go. One, two. How did it go that time? Now, if you find you're missing that, that drop, that's down a perfect fifth. step back up by two perfect fourth E A D C B okay here's the next phrase now it does something similar keep in mind the key that you're in you're in G major and there are no chromatic notes at all so every note is in the key of G major one two Did you manage to work out what note it started on? Because it's obviously no longer on the E. The previous phrase finished on a B. This next one on a C. Here's my version again. And then you copy and. Here we go. One and two. try it from the start of those two phrases. So you're going to start with the E one. You ready? 
a pattern there as well isn't it any idea what note it starts on have a little have a little go can you still get the g in your head and what note does this start on yeah it's a b okay listen one more time to the pattern if you use sol fa you might try singing it to sol fa so if, if g is low it starts on me if you don't then try using degrees of the scale it starts on number three for example off i go Now for the steps and the skips. You got that? Lovely. Why not try now? Still remember your left hand? See if you can put the left hand in and the right hand to go with it. Here we go. Let's do it together. One, two. to give it a little bit more richness because he puts a third below mostly in. So we start on B and G. Here's just the melody line for those two phrases. There is, uh, it does change a little bit in the very last bar. There is a chromatic note. Listen to that in a line, see if you could work out what it is. Here it is. One, two. phrase again. Listen to that flat note. but the melody um, and the counter melody if you like and then the bass line let's try it together one two very much something that the more you do the easier it becomes well i hope you had fun doing that see you soon bye for now